Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel here. We've got more folklore today from Taylor Swift, the one and only, and we're getting close to the end of the album, so in a way it's it's heartbreaking, but also hallelujah, because I'll have the full context of folklore, something we started about four or five months ago, and I know it's been um, a long time in the making here. So uh, today we are doing Mad Woman from the Long Pond Studio Sessions. A song that I think she collaborated with Desner on, Aaron Desner, um, who we're now familiar with and I'm familiar with. It's just nice that things are starting to come together for me and I understand a bit more of why she may have written these songs, um, even though I'll probably get most of the meaning wrong, uh, but that's kind of part of the fun for me on a first reaction. So uh, just a quick reminder to go check out Taylor's channel. Obviously she's incredibly popular, but it can't hurt to give her some more views here. And if it's your first time, please hit subscribe, leave me a comment, uh, consider joining the Patreon, all things that really help this channel grow and allows me to put out content like this. And without that, without further ado, let's get into it. What did you think I'd say to that? Does a scorpion sting when fighting back? They strike to kill and you know I will. Drive home, do you see my face in the neighbor's lawn? Does she smile? What does she mouth you forever? What does she mouth face in the neighbor's lawn? Does she smile? What does she mouth you forever? Every time you call me crazy, I get more crazy. What about that? I love her falsetto. I think it's just so pretty. Uh, she does such a good job with that. The fact, some of you have told me that she's been criticized for not being able to sing. I really don't understand that criticism. She she can sing and um, I, I, it just doesn't compute for me that someone, that would be a criticism for Taylor Swift. Going back here though, it does sound like this is a song maybe um, Scorpion Sting, uh, your neighbor looking at you on the lawn and like mouthing fuck you to you essentially. When they call me crazy, I get more crazy, uh, which is indeed very true, right? There's nothing more instigating than being called crazy and having to defend yourselves on those grounds, right? Um, I'm not crazy. And then you, you sound like you're more crazy. Uh, it's one of those sort of catch-22 moments in life here, and it's extremely frustrating. Um, I think Taylor here is just commenting on that. If you're perceived like that, you're basically put in a position where uh, you have very, very little power. And it's incredibly frustrating as an individual to be put in that position in society here. Again, more crazy. What about that? And when you say you seem angry, again, more angry. And there's nothing like a mad woman. What a shame she went by. No one likes a mad woman. You made her like that. And you poke that bear till the claws come out And you find something to wrap your noose around And there's nothing like a bad woman uh, like a bad woman uh, The way she held that note is so satisfying. Okay, so I, I kind of see what this, this song is about here. This is, this is great commentary from Taylor. This is uh, society perceiving women as these beings, essentially, that become upset. And in reality, society has created those problems and those paradigms for women to have to tackle and overcome, especially in Hollywood. Uh, not, I shouldn't say especially, but in many, basically, many sectors. And in the music industry, I think Taylor's had to face a lot of abuse for people. Uh, Scooter Braun is someone I now understand has been in her life. Uh, people like Kanye, just people that like put you down, 
directly insults you and then when you get upset or you get angry, um, you're called crazy. And it's just a way to instantly dismiss any validity you have in your argument, right? And it's infuriating to be called, you know, have someone just like launch a tirade against you and say that you're the angry one. And then of course you're going to like start boiling up. Um, no one likes a mad woman, I think is what she's saying. Um, and it's sad that, you know, people are perceived that way. Nothing like a man. Nothing like a mad woman. Okay. And there's nothing like a man. Oh, man. Now a brief flames each time I talk. My cannons all firing at your yacht, they say. Move on, but you know I won't And women like hunting witches too Doing your dirtiest work for you It's obvious that wanting me dead Has really brought you two together Every time you call me crazy I get more crazy What about that? And when you say I seem angry I get more angry and there's nothing like a mad woman What a shame she went mad No one likes a mad What a shame she went mad um, And that's of course a man's perspective, right? Uh, women that are in a frenzy or hysteria Hysteria was a medical terminolo terminology for a woman When they didn't know how else to diagnose a woman back in the day You know, uh, male doctors would look at someone and say Oh, she's gone hysterical when in reality, you know, it could have been postpartum depression. It could have been many things. Um, but they didn't try to treat the underlying cause. Instead, they just labeled someone. And I think that's still very prevalent in society. I think things are shifting a little bit now, and, and people have found a voice and a, a, a public forum to, like, discuss these things. But to Taylor's point, you know, again, you know, she, she infiltrated a male industry, really. And she's crushing it, right? And a lot of people don't like that. So, hmm. This is very, very good. Uh, I love her vocals on this. I really do. The way they resonate in this long pond studio is uh, so nice. I love, I love the, the setting. I say this every time, but it's just, it's cozy, the interior. It reminds me of being in a log cabin somewhere out of the woods, just enjoying nature the companionship and, and good music. What a shame she went by. No one likes a mad woman. You made her like that. And you poke that bear till your claws come out. And you find something to wrap your noose around. And there's nothing like a man. Time, taking my time Cause you took everything from me Watching you climb, watching you climb Over people like me The master of spin has a couple side things Good wives always know She should be mad, should be scathing like me But no one likes a man Woman Saying that good wives know, um, but a lot of them don't don't project that anger because they they know that no one likes a mad woman, right? Or that's what she's saying. Um. No one likes a mad woman. What a shame she went by.
love the chord progression there on the piano too. Um, it's really nice on the ears, but oftentimes Taylor has these sort of very catchy um, rhythms, um, choruses in her songs, but her lyrics are basically polar opposite. And in this case, I just envision you know, pre-1950s and 1950s up until that era in the 60s, and obviously it's still happening today, but um, I, I picture like that 1950s Mad Men era where women had no power, right? And they were just easily discarded. Everything they said was, um, you know, pushed to the side, and if they had real complaints or real opinions about society and, and you know, uh, p potential solutions to things, again, you know, just deemed as Oh, she's gone mad. And so I can only imagine what it's like to reach so much success in, in the musical in musical life, but way beyond that in Taylor's case, and just be met with criticism and people that just refuse to admit that you have talent, right? Um, and also to be, um, you know, generalized your whole life as just like a pop singer or something like that. And that's someone that's not capable of, of producing real art here. So. Um, again, another amazing song here off Folklore. Um, I haven't really met a song here that I didn't vibe with or didn't find some beauty in. And we're getting close to the end. So um, Epiphany is next, which I'm very excited for. Uh, granted, I have heard Epiphany, and I, I think I was upfront about that. Um, I've heard Epiphany. I listened to it during the pandemic, and I think that's what made me want to um, react to Taylor Swift songs here off this album in particular so I'm gonna cover it but just know that it's not a first reaction uh, but maybe I'll see it in a different light um, it's one of my favorite songs by her so stay tuned I'll see you in the next video just a quick reminder to subscribe to me please leave me a comment for the algorithm like it um, you know it does help me get this out to more people but I really do appreciate it and I do try to get back to everyone and I hope you can see that I'll see you in the next one take care